Okay, mom and I have been failing you as parents because we moved you away from Texas and we haven't taught you uh, Texas history. Because I was like, hey, we should go to the Alamo Bowl and watch the Utes play the, the Longhorns. Maybe we go see the Alamo and Presley was like, what in the world is an Alamo? It's a football. What in the world is an Alamo? We're failing as parents. Here's a quick lesson in Texas history. During the Texas Revolution, when Texas was fighting Mexico for uh, its independence, like around 100 to 200 Texans, they gathered at this mission and they basically turned it into like a little fort. And the general of the Mexican army, his name was Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana. He came with, and it was a tough name. He came with his whole army. They surrounded the place and they were like, hey, you guys got to surrender. And the Texans were like, nope. We're not doing that. Antonio Lopez was like, if you guys don't come out, then we're gonna kill you all. They were like, oh man, that's pretty rough. And William B. Travis, he was the colonel. He sent a letter out saying, hey, we'd rather die than, uh, than surrender. So what he did is inside the Alamo, he drew a line in the sand with his sword. He said, anybody who wants to stay and fight, cross this line. Anybody who wants to go, you, you're free to go. You don't have to stay and fight. He, all the men, stepped across the line and they're like, we're not leaving. So the army, the Mexican army, they stayed around the Alamo for like two weeks. And go through the water? Well, yeah, they, yeah, they, they laid siege to the Alamo. So it was like, camp? yeah, made camp around it. On the final day, the Mexican army, they overran the Alamo. There were so many of them that the, the Texans couldn't hold them off. And everybody that would stay, that stayed in the Alamo, all the Texans that were in the Alamo that fought that day, they died. That's a good question. How did Texas get their freedom? After Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana, he won at the Alamo. So he took the Mexican army to Houston to go fight this guy named Sam Houston, who was the general of the Texas army. He's like the George Washington of Texas. He was like the first general, the first president. Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana, he took his army to this place called San Jacinto. San Jacinto. Yeah, it's like this little place down there. There's a San Jacinto River. That's like by where I grew up. But they were camping, and in the middle of the day, they take a siesta. You know what a siesta is? It's like a little rest. They were taking like a little nap. So what Sam Houston did is when they were taking their siesta, he snuck up on them. I bet all of them were napping. They were, and then the Texans attacked. Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana and his army. And when they started the attack, you know what they said? <laughs> Remember the Alamo! And then they fought and they captured Antonio Lopez and they won the battle. And... Wait, Texas? Texas. And they won Texas independence. The reason why the Alamo is important is because those guys fought and died so that Texas could become independent and they sacrificed their lives. And that actually inspired a lot of other people to come help fight for the cause and it's part of what helped Texas become an independent country. Now we honor them at the Alamo. They have it, it's like a museum, and you can go, you can go stand there and check it out and see the whole place. There's no dead people. Yeehaw! There's no dead people, no. Like, there's no dead bodies. Oops! No, there's no dead bodies there. You can go check it out, it's a cool museum, and it's a very famous place in Texas. Everybody knows what the Alamo is when you live there. It's regarded very highly by Texans, because a lot of guys, they could have just quit and left, right? Quit. Quit. Bye. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of there's a lot of them and not so many of us. We should leave. But they didn't do that. They're like, nope, we're gonna stay and fight because they believe in their cause. So there's the story of the Alamo. The elbow. It's not the elbow. <laughs> that is not the elbow. Not it's the Alamo. Alamo. Remember the Alamo. My parenting job is complete. <laughs>